great story. Compelling and rich. This month, February, special treat. Uh, we're pulling back the curtain. Whoosh, you can peer into the dark, dank hallway that is the recesses of the Diojo Way. Be becoming an intentional restorer as it relates to the format for successful fire damage restoration estimates. The intentional restorer, February 2021, coming out in Restoration and Remediation Magazine, second Friday of the month. Uh, like I said, the format for successful fire damage restoration estimates. So a lot of this is not necessarily how to estimate a fire damage restoration project, but the format of it and um, how you tell the story of the loss, um, understanding you know, what your crew is doing, what the structure and the process is. Some of this uh, came from uh, reviewing an estimate for another fellow industry, uh, intentional restorer. But, uh, there's some critical sequencing things that go into a fire damage restoration estimate, as most of you know. Um, so hopefully, if you're new to estimating, this will be very, very helpful. Uh, if you've been estimating for a while, but haven't done as many fire damages, again, this should be very helpful to shorten your dang learning curve to becoming an intentional restorer. Um, lots of input from uh, uh, articles that like Restoration Industry Association has put out, Cliff Zlotnick um, had some really good conversations about this on IAQ Radio. Uh, what else we got? There's an article from Restoration Remediation Magazine talking about ozone versus hydroxyl. Um, so we pull pull from those. You smart. You very smart. We the best. It'll help. This is going to help. The keys in everything that we do, the Diojo way, the way of the intentional restorer, do it right, do it efficiently, do it excellently. Um, and hopefully this will help you along that journey as it relates to estimating fire damage restoration and insurance claims. Check it out. The Intentional Restorer, February 2021, Restoration and Remediation Magazine. You heard it here.